All right, home dogs. <laughs> it is, oh my gosh. I just have to tell you, like, it is week eight. We're starting week eight. And let me just frame this in as positive a way as possible. It's week eight, which means you're about to take your second exam. I personally am feeling super optimistic about your performance on this exam. I have absolutely no question in my mind that we are going to see some major improvements in exam performance. So I'm actually really looking forward to you taking the exam, regardless of how you're feeling about it. Um, but perhaps more importantly, after you take that first exam, you are solidly halfway through the course, which is mind-blowing. Like that is incredible in and of itself. Plus, Next week, spring break. And I guarantee that we all deserve a nice, solid week spring break. So this week, you're going to push hard. Like I know right now you all are focused on the exam. I just did a study session with some of y'all clowns out there, and I'm super stoked. It was really nice to see faces, and thanks to the five of you who showed up to the study session that um, I, I enjoy being able to uh, clarify issues and help you all out. So that's a good thing. Um, we're going to continue doing office hours. I'll have my normal office hour tomorrow, Monday, from 6 to 7 p.m., and then um, I'll be available on Thursday as well. And, you know, that Zoom gig in Canvas is super slick. So uh, not a tricky thing at all, and I can actually set up Zoom sessions with you whenever you would like to. So if you have some questions and you just want to hash it out face-to-face uh, -face so that I can look into your eyeballs, I'd love it. That's a great thing. Okay, so one thing that you probably noticed, or maybe you didn't, and uh, that's okay too, I forgot to publish the um, weekend stuff. I forgot to publish the external brain assignment and the quiz until I think it was yesterday night, Saturday night. Like, that's unacceptable to have. I mean, most of you do it at the last minute anyway, but I actually extended the due date on both the external brain and the quiz for this week. I extended the due date until Wednesday, the day that your exam is due. And I did it because I really want you to do that stuff before you take your exam, especially the quiz. If you look at it, the quiz is a 30-pointer, which isn't a, like you get to take it twice. It's multiple choice. Like all, it's open note. It's open book. Like all the good things that are true about the quizzes, but it's amazing practice for your exam. So um, that I feel good about giving you a little bit of an extension on that thing. So I'm keeping week seven module up, and you want to keep engaged in the week seven module um, as you are preparing. Make sure you get that stuff done. Don't lose those points just because um, we changed the due dates around a little bit. I also have published parts of the week eight module because, you know, it's week eight. But I'm not distracting you with um, the lecture content that will be coming. So I want you guys to focus on the exam. If you take the exam relatively early in the week and you really want to get started on the rest of the stuff, just shoot me a message and I will make arrangements. But I, I just want the exam to be the front and center of your lives right now. But. <laughs> I do want to say, number one, well, let me tell you a little bit about the exam. Me? Distracted? No. The exam is 80 points this time. If you're going to take it through Proctorio, I probably should put um, the Proctorio little practice thing if you haven't done it yet. If you take it in Proctorio, you have to be in Google Chrome. And if you have any issues, shoot me a message as soon as possible. I'm monitoring like a mad woman to make sure that everybody can take it when they need to take it. It is due by Wednesday at 5 p.m., so um, you have to have it finished by then. 
If you're taking it in the testing center, they are super awesome, and um, that should be really straightforward. So don't worry about that. 50 multiple choice questions on the exam. There are five correct the falsy questions. So those are the true false questions where if the answer is false, not all answers are false, but if the answer is false, you have to rewrite the statement to make it a correct statement. And as always, entering, like inserting not into the statement. So if the correct the falsy is um, all DNA nucleotides contain ribose. That's a false statement, right? Correcting it correctly would not include all DNA nucleotides do not include ribose. That was like the worst grammar on the planet, but you can't just enter not into the statement and have it be an accurate correction. What you would say instead to show me how much you know is, all DNA nucleotides contain deoxyribose. That's the they, they don't contain ribose. That's mR or that's RNA nucleotides. They contain the pentose sugar deoxyribose instead. So you just corrected it with more information. It was an easy correction. Like you don't have to write 80 pages in order to demonstrate your knowledge, but you do need to um, have it be more than just saying not. If you just say not, that's basically you're just saying it's false. You're not really explaining why or correcting it enough. So make sure that on those um, five correct the falsies, if it is a false answer, that you kind of go into some detail on that. And then there are, I think, four short answer essay type questions where you're expected to, you know, give me some meat. Um, those questions are more big picture type questions, possibly some application type stuff. They're usually five points apiece, so um, they're like definitely is, it's expected that you go a little deeper into that and demonstrate what you know. So don't be afraid to write for me, like, and don't be afraid to format and highlight things. Like do what you want to do with communicating what you know but make sure that you spend some time, and don't be intimidated by those questions either. They are, um, they sometimes do require a little more depth of analysis on your end, and sometimes the answer might not seem super clear, but don't skip those things. Like take your time and think it through and give me a best effort, and you'll probably get some points for a best effort at least. Okay, I think that's all I want to tell you about your exam. Holla, holla if you have any questions. Now, <laughs> since I'm here, since I'm recording this video for you, um, this week is not free. So we have an exam, but we also are starting the next chunk of content. And we have a lab this week that is related to the new content. So we're going to start going into um, heredity. And, and replication, reproduction. Hmm, that's the word I was looking for. That was that R word. And so we're going to talk about how nuclei divide. The topic, mitosis, is decently complex. It's not nearly as molecular as the previous two big picture topics from this session were. So we're kind of moving out into cells, and ultimately even in this session we're going to be looking at um, organisms and, and, you know, how traits are passed from critter to critter. But it isn't, this isn't an easy task. Now, I would like to be slightly flexible. Look, there's an external brain for this week's content after your exam, and there's a quiz. And I'd like to be a little bit flexible with you as far as dates and timing goes. Um, we have spring break. I hate, I'd love you to take spring break off. I really would. But I know that many of you are swamped with life. What? Why does this life always get in the way? And so if you need to, spread out your biology into spring break 
I, I'm okay with that. What you're going to miss out on, now if everybody spreads it out into spring break, then the discussion boards will be rich through spring break. Um, if everybody sort of wants to get it done this week, which I think I would advise for that, then um, the discussion boards will be sparse if you're, um, you know, the interaction will be more sparse. I've been really happy with the discussion boards. I've been really happy with the improvements that we're making. I feel like every discussion board just gets a little more authentic and rich in the conversation, and I don't want you to not do that just because you need a bit of a break. So be wise about how you um, deal with the next topic. Yes, a break is coming up, but no, this class is not getting easier. Like it's, it, I, I would argue that maybe we plateau right now. Um, maybe it's not super harder, but it's definitely not easier than what we just did. So plan ahead. The lab, we also have a lab this week, and I don't think I've published it yet, but I will get it done um, soon. It involves um, some microscope stuff, which not with the microscope simulation, actually. So I'm kind of excited about you having the opportunity to mess with this magic um, onion microscope slide that I found online that is, oh, I almost cried when I found it because I was so, grateful <laughs> that it's a really nice um, and authentic experience for what you would experience if you had an actual microscope. So I feel really good about that. As soon as we get the exam taken care of, then I will um, start publishing all this other stuff, but I just want you to have in your brain that um, even though we're doing an exam, I'd love to be like, yeah, let's just have the exam and then I'll see you in two weeks or a week and a half. Um, but no, we are continuing on because bio doesn't stop for anyone. Is there anything else that I need to tell you? Other than that, I wish there was a little um, thing on your computer right now that had a little spout, and then I could push a button over here, cha-ching, and send some chocolate your way because you deserve it. All right, have fun this week, and holler at me if you have questions, and I love you. Bye-bye.